Welcome to part four of building your layout, adding scenic material. Having carefully pinned the track into position, you can now start to add the fields and railways. To paint the roadways and paths that you marked out earlier, add humble matte black acrylic paint with a little water to increase coverage. Using the one inch paintbrush, apply the roadway, but remember to clean the brush once you have finished. Allow the paint to dry, and once dry, you can then look at applying to the rest of the baseboard the scenic scatter material. Prepare some PVA glue. You can even add a touch of brown paint for an extra level of realism. Using the midi mat or track mat as a guide, paint the area which you wish to scenic with either the PVA wood glue mix or the Scale Scenics grass glue, ensuring to leave areas over which the houses and buildings will be positioned free from the material and apply your selected ground cover or scatter material to the chosen area. You may find using a domestic cooking sieve useful to obtain an even coverage, but if one is not available, carefully sprinkle the material over the glued area using your fingers. Adding different colours and textures of scatter to a field or garden, for example, adds a depth as well as pleasing effect and prevents a model railway looking too uniform. Remember not to try and cover too large an area in one go as the glue may dry before you've applied the scatter. Allow the glue to dry and just like the track ballast, tip the layout onto a piece of newspaper and collect up the residual material. Or alternatively, use a small dustpan and brush. With our scenic material sorted, we can now move on to really starting to bring that layout to life. Click here to watch the next video.